So for the next part, let's go ahead and click on level here. And it's gonna give us five points, including the middle. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna level out the build plate so it's flat as it could be. So let's click on the first here. And it's gonna move to our first spot. So I'm just gonna use this piece of paper that was included. So it's gonna take a measurement there. All right. Actually guys, this paper is way too thick. I'm just gonna use a posty note. But yeah, we're just gonna grab the posty note and put it underneath the nozzle. And then we're gonna adjust the knob here until we get some kind of friction between the nozzle and the build plate. All right, that looks like we got a little bit there. So now I'm gonna go to the second position. Good right there. Third. Good right there. Fourth. And you definitely want to do this, guys, with the bed being heated because since this is glass, when it heats, it does expand a bit. And, you know, you want to be as accurate as possible because when you're printing, your bed is hot. So let's go to number one again here, first corner. And it looks pretty good there. It looked like it was already pretty level. So just that minor adjustment, it looks like all we needed. And we can go to the center also, which is the fifth position. And we'll check that. And that's perfect right there. So, yeah. So let's go back. Okay, so if we click on more, we got out of bed leveling. So now we can do the outer level. So yeah, first you wanna do the manual leveling to flatten it out. And now we're doing the outer leveling, which is gonna take a lot of measurements. So it can adjust itself as it's printing. And then after it does all this, we're gonna go ahead and do the Z axis offset. And then once we do all that, we'll click the save button there to save it all. So it looks like it's finished. I would think it'd go to the middle next and let us do the offset, but it's not going anywhere. So maybe I need to click on something here. So let's click on this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save that, whatever it did. So I'm gonna click here on the EEP Rome save. And I'm guessing that saved it. So let's go back, click on level again, and go to the center, which is the fifth. All right, so yeah, we're definitely too tight. So now we need to go back more and then go up with the baby steps. So, oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. So yeah, this is how we're gonna adjust our gap between the bed and the nozzle. So once you're happy with that, we're gonna click on the EEPROM save. And that should save it, and we should be done technically.